Hi Aries. Welcome to your April reading. This is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, watch your Moon and Rising sign too so you have a comprehensive understanding of what is going on for you in the month. If you are new here, welcome. I am Nicole. This is Sunshine Tarot. This is not going to resonate with every Aries out there, but uh, if it does, there is an extended reading at the end of the broadcast, and I will tell you how you can get a copy of that. So what we're going to do today is use um, some oracles here. We're going to also use the Tarot. And we are going to ask the cards uh, what's going on with your romantic life. We're going to look at your overall energy, what your challenge is, what you don't see coming, your recent past, your present, and the near future. Okay? So again, welcome. And uh, if you resonate with this, please subscribe. And let's get right down to it. Okay? Aries. Okay, Aries, so let's take a look at your overall energy. So we're going to be using oracles. I'm going to be looking up a lot because I have a camera that is recording my uh, hands and my arms. And I just want to make sure everything is okay with that. Okay. Aries. All right, we're going to take the middle card. I've seen this cat before and it says as far as your overall energy is concerned it says I am selfish enough to feel good and feeling good indicates your connection to clarity wellness and an abundance in all good things so okay so uh, it looks like the cards want you to start focusing on feeling better, whether that is uh, with as far as exercise is concerned, as far as, um, all right, let's see what the, uh, the oracles that I'm using uh, are the, uh, the soulmate cards, the Abraham Hicks cards, the hidden truth oracles, and the tarot. I keep forgetting what these are called. I haven't seen their cover in a while. Okay, but uh, let's see what the angels have to say about your overall energy. Okay, what do we have? Raise or promotion? Oh, okay. So some of you could be moving into a different area of business. You could have had, you could have been in one business. Now you're progressing into something else or you are really wanting to come up higher as far as your career or your finances are concerned or there's been an increase. Uh, or that is something that is coming. Look how beautiful this card is, Aries. Isn't that pretty? Oh, she's so pretty. The artwork is just gorgeous. It says, congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. Here. All right, what do we have? Ooh, good news regarding money is coming to you. It looks like there will be a new way of making money to Aries because you see, um, so this is one way that money is coming in and now she's looking at something new. So I do feel like you're gonna get, money looks pretty good for the rest of April, okay? And uh, let's take a look at the Romance Angel cards. Some of you could be dealing with someone that you've met at your job. Or you could be with someone and you guys are in the same industry. Some of you could be pregnant right now because the Page of Pentacles could be like a messenger from the gods and it's in a form of something physical. Okay, so some of you are uh, becoming mothers for the first time. Let's look at your love life for April. Okay, this is for all Aries. It's not going to resonate with you though for all of you. If not, try your moon sign or your rising. All right, Aries love life. Aries love life. Okay. 
past life connection. So there's somebody who you're very strongly connected to, a very strong attachment. And I see that they're coming across sincere. You guys have a lot of passion and strong connection towards each other. You guys, this past life relationship could mean something as simple as um, you guys used to date before and you guys are starting to talk again. You guys could possibly work together or be in the same field or something like that. But Or you guys could have been together since you guys were children. Uh, you could have grown up with this person or this is literally somebody who you just have a an extraordinary attraction to and it it feels like it um, breaks worlds okay so these two cards were it, it doesn't feel right though it doesn't feel right I'm gonna put them back see I'm thinking that just because it's like that that's the one you're supposed to read but okay so let's read these are the these are called soulmate cards Hearts. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, this relationship, you're still prospering. So whatever this relationship is, you're prospering in your life. So, okay. And this says, it says two hearts merge through an explosion of love. United, they created unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill their dreams. Okay. So I feel like some of you are with someone that's helping you to come up. And if you don't know this person now, there's a very strong connection between work and this person. So you may be meeting them at work, but for some of you, you already know this person and uh, they make you feel good. And it's like, damn, this person makes me feel so good. Somebody makes you feel good and they're helping you to raise your vibration. Aries, you could be doing this to someone else. You could be doing this to your person. Like as a result of you being in their lives, they're, um, they're coming up and they're feeling like a man. They're feeling like a woman. And you just got that touch. Okay. So that's your overall energy. Um, this is what you don't see coming, Aries. No, excuse me. This is your challenge. Aries' challenge is... Oh, this is actually not supposed to be in here, but uh, the challenge is discomfort. And on this card, someone is crying, but you see there is a lot of support around her. And it's still very green, and there's growth. So, you know, pain teaches us how, I mean, the gift of the emotion of pain is growth. So, it, so some of you are growing and it's a little uncomfortable because you are moving to your next level, okay? And you're excavating the newest version and the highest version of yourself. And it, and it could be a little uncomfortable. Maybe there are people you have to leave behind or maybe people's feelings are hurt or, you know... Um, because I do see some of you being very successful here, all right? You could uh, have gotten a home. You could have uh, acquired new assets. But I definitely feel like there's somebody who is in your life that you could have known for many years, almost like when you guys were children or something like that. So we have three oracles that fell out. And the first is a gratitude list, deservingness, and unlimited ideas. And this is uh, your challenge, okay? I think one of the things that you guys are challenged with is being grateful. You might have a lot going for yourself, but you could be thinking um, more about what you don't have than what you do have, okay? Um, some of you may feel like you are not deserving of the success that you're having or that of the success that you want. You may have some shame existence binds or shame binds around success. Okay. And I feel that some of you, um, you, you may... You may feel uh, like you're not as creative as maybe as you would like to be. And so your challenge is to be grateful, 
to know that you deserve whatever it is that you are acquiring or want and uh, know that you are a creative human being and you can tap into your unlimited ideas and whatever is causing you discomfort right now they're saying that it's really important for you to see the good in your life right now and to acknowledge the fact that you understand you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Alright, let me see what your challenge is. And with the Romance Angel cards, what is the challenge for Aries with the Romance Angel cards? And the challenge for Aries or the challenge in a relationship is what? And the challenge for Aries is playfulness. Okay. Maybe you've been a little too serious lately and you might need to have some fun. I think that's exactly what the cards are saying. So I feel like Aries, your challenge is having fun. You know, you've been moving through some dis discomforting things. You know, you could have lost a parent. I know an Aries who lost a parent in COVID. Right. Uh, you could be But at least you are having a baby and you deserve to be a mother and a father and, you know, uh, let your ideas flow free. But one of the things that your relationship needs right now is some fun. Okay. And here's your soulmate card for your challenge. And it says, surrender all that no longer serves you. Let all that remains buried in your heart come to the surface to be healed. Let there be space for new energies to enter. A new beginning transformed darkness to light. All right, so uh, I do see this love that's very passionate that's in your life. And you guys uh, have either been a long time or you guys have had different lives with each other here and what you guys this challenge is for the month of April is to have more play time okay because I think you guys are just really busy oh we didn't pull a tarot for the challenge make some time to play um, my girlfriend took her child to some jumping place where they just jump on a trampoline and they had fun she, her baby, and her son. You know, so make some time for fun. That's all I really see. I don't see anything big, um, you know, for your relationship that is like detrimental or anything. Five of Pentacles is reverse. Uh, that is your challenge. Um, some of you are coming out of a period of lack. There might have been some financial challenges that you were facing or you could be facing some financial challenges. I think there is, you're going to have some opportunity that where you're going to be able to start your life all over or that's the challenge. Like you're needing something new to make you feel alive again because maybe you've kind of got stuck in a rut of just working and now you need something new and fun um, that's going to give your life uh, goals and meaning all right all right so that's the challenge all right so what don't you see coming Aries 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 Aries what don't you see coming? Um, by visualizing my desired outcome, the perfect action is always inspired. As your desire to feel good leads you to thoughts that feel good, the perfect action will be inspired from the alignment. And that inspired action is always joyful. So it looks like you're going to start visualizing some stuff or you're going to maybe start speaking uh, what you want to see happen more into the universe. 
and I don't think you believe in that or see yourself doing that or like that it just sounds crazy but it looks like you are going to start visualizing um, the results that you want from your life and it looks like you're going to be taking that kind of seriously so not just passing away passing by but like you may even start to sit down and literally see yourself making thirty thousand dollars a month and like uh, cash in the check and so I feel like visualization is going to take a big part of your life and right now you may not believe that okay all right what is your angel card here uh, power of prayer so what you don't see coming is that somebody is going to be praying for you or you're going to start praying more so some of you are really uh, something is important to you right now I know that Debrat is an Aries and her oh yeah Judy is pregnant the, yeah okay that's what that page of, yeah so Debrat's wife is pregnant right now for those of you who know who Debrat is so it says some of you are going to start praying it says give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles heaven's unlimited resources love and answers are awaiting your prayers be sure to act upon the divine guidance that God gives to you too in response to your prayers Aries I tell you I was uh, troubled about something for about a year and I finally got down on my knees and prayed about it and uh, And uh, within 72, answer, 72 hours, I had a breakthrough. Attraction, okay? You may be attracted to someone outside of your main partner. There's an attraction there, right? Um, also, uh, the cards are saying that, again, you really need some playtime, Aries. Okay, because it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So that's what getting into your feminine energy. Right. Some of you could be praying for a relationship and visualizing it. And maybe at this time, you just really don't see yourself doing anything like that. Because <laughs> this is what you don't see coming. All right. This could be anything, though. You could be doing that with a business venture. So this is the Tarot card for what you don't see coming in April. What do we have? Ooh, the King of Cups. Huh. Well, the King of Cups is someone who wants to marry you. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be your wife already. Okay. Uh, you could be married if, uh, if not a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Um, and I feel like you guys could be planning a wedding or just got married. Someone could be uh, very attracted to you. They feel like they prayed for someone like you in their lives. And they've been visualizing uh, the, the type of relationship that they want. And they've been making themselves attractive by becoming um, more uh, easy to get along with. You know, more compatible and... Uh, the King of Cups is here with his hand extended towards you. So I definitely feel like either you are in a relationship or one of the things that you don't see coming is you're going to be attracted to this man who is marriage material, who's ready to, who, who's going to select you or could be a woman. And I feel like you're going to do a lot of prayer. My mother's been married for 30 years. I asked her, I said, what's the secret to being married for so long? She said, prayer. So I see you could be uh, dealing with someone who is a praying person. Or you could have been praying for your relationship. All right. So you guys could be going to church. You could be going to a mosque. Um, but yeah, what you don't see coming is... I feel like um, you and your person are going to draw. They could have a Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. But yeah, I feel like uh, some of you could have just had children here. I do feel a very strong connection. 
You guys need to enjoy yourselves. Somebody could have been working too hard. You need to visualize and continue to pray for your relationship and bring playfulness back in. But for those of you who are wondering about your person, um, it looks like they're into you. All right. And if you are single, what you don't see coming is somebody who is going to be into you coming into the picture. It says, have you lost sight of what is really important? Remember a time when life was simpler and the world seemed like a giant playground just waiting to be explored? Perhaps it's time to rediscover that world together. Okay, so again, for those of you in relationships, we're getting these cards about me time or us time. So maybe one of the things you guys need to do is uh, plan a date night. All right. All right, so that was what you don't see coming. And what we're going to look at now is the uh, recent past for Aries. I was thinking about renaming the channel Sunshine to Row and Oracles. All right, all right, Aries. Oh, okay. So this is the recent past, and we have the universe is big enough to fulfill my every intent. The universal manager has the ability to bring everyone a vibrational match to what they are giving their attention to without depriving anyone else of what they are wanting. So I guess you guys have really set your intention about something, whether it's family, whether it's a, a dynamic relationship, whether it's the success of a product line. I see that there's been a big intention launched into the universe or it could still be trapped in your heart. All right. So let's see. What is your angel card set about this? All right. It says, face your financial fears, okay? So it says, when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness, and you'll realize that, in fact, you, in fact, have nothing to fear, and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. So that could be interfering with your relationship, you have been in the past, you've been, you could have been making some really big declarations about how much you want your finances to change. There could be something that's really burdening you um, financially. I know DePratt, again, is an Aries and she has that multi-million dollar case uh, where, uh, you know, the person wants millions of dollars because she assaulted them. So, but uh, in your recent past, you could have really been worried about money because it's not coming in. Maybe your person is the only provider. Okay. So I feel like you've been making some real big intentions regarding finances. Let's see what's been going on recently regarding love for you. Retreat. Okay. So maybe you and your person have retreated or you don't spend as much time with each other as you used to. Um, or perhaps you and your person have just kind of retreated into uh, you guys' own little world. Let's clarify it with the tarot card. So perhaps you and your person have retreated. It's time to disconnect from the world. In your recent past, you have been disconnected from the world. And let's see what the tarot has to say about that. In the recent past, for Aries, Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like maybe you and your person have not been um, arguing as much as you used to. Okay? I also feel like um, you guys might be just really getting to know each other. Um, you could have been disconnected. You and your person could have gone on a sexual uh, freak fest. <laughs> All right, so we have three cards here. It says, your love life is like a burst of sunshine on a cloudy day. Your smile is imprinted in my heart. Your, bo your beauty reflected by the stars. Your essence is the air I breathe. So somebody really loves you. 
all right or cross watch your Aries really loves you it says every experience regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad comes with the gift attached yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time trust all is as it should be so that's for a second group of you all right and let's see this could be for a third group. And it says, no matter what changes life brings, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose. Because of you, I feel safe. I am forever grateful. Thank you. Okay. So it looks to me like somebody is very much in love with you. And you guys could have gone on uh, on a little retreat you guys could have just come back from a, a weekend trip or it's just the two of you you know now and I don't see anybody else the five of wands is reverse so I don't see competition here uh, I see that there's been some financial issues you have really been you know putting it out there for the universe to change that it looks like the universe heard you there is a very strong connection with someone who you could have been with for a very long time or possibly be with for a very long time you guys could have had a life with each other right looks like you guys are still attracted to each other and they're just saying that the only thing you guys really need to do is have a little bit more fun with each other because this the love is very strong here and um, for some of you I feel like your person is very faithful and I uh, at this moment don't see anyone else all right all right so um, let's look at your present the present for Aries oh, okay something fell it touched the bottom so I'm going to read from these that touch. Okay, it's kind of like football. If it touches the table, it's got to read it. All right, your present. Oh, your present was a reverse. But right side up, it says the main event isn't the destination. It's my joyous journey. And I think that it's upside down because maybe some of you uh, needed to be reminded of that. I was, they said, don't fold your arms when you have a YouTube video. <laughs> Anyway, some of you could be forgetting to enjoy the journey. And is aren't we all guilty of that, though? And they're reminding you, see, we, we're, st we're still getting this whole, where's the playfulness at? You know, you guys are, are the babies of the Zodiac, and you guys need to play. I really feel like you need to play. I feel like that is the message of the reason, the reading is that, is playtime. Just play time with your lover. You guys need to get some toys and just play with each other. Retreat. And, you know, uh, I feel like you guys could have had some financial financial strains. And maybe that's why you haven't been as um, playful. But go to the sex store and get some toys for you and your person to play. Are we going to fall? I'm going to let you fall. All right. Employment change. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, employment change, Aries. Some of you are, see, we keep seeing this employment change. Earlier in the reading, we got raise or promotion. And, and the present is coming with employment change. So it says your career path is leading you in a higher direction. Wow. And with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions and life purposes it says trust that these changes will come you release the old it says trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new you are being supported each step of the way okay so uh it looks like some of you are changing your careers or you could be starting a business and with this journey card reverse you may be really eager to see some results and the cards are just kind of guiding you to just smell the roses relax because i see good news regarding money remember the uh page of pentacles what we saw earlier that means uh, good news usually and for me it's regarding money it could mean a promotion but we got this promotion card and this has come from a raise and it's come from you setting your intention strong you know and if you can do this with money you can do this with your relationship all right so let's see what the romance angel cards wants to say about your present 
So some of you are definitely having some type of new business, new business expansion. Your business could be uh, doing something new. You could be doing something completely new, a new job, a new side hustle. And the cards just want you to know that you are supported. All right. All right. All right. What is your romance angel card for the present? Love yourself first. Okay. You know, that is sexy. It is sexy when someone is confident and they love themselves. You know, you just want to kiss them all the time. So love yourself first. Some of you could, you know, as a mother, you might have been given just like so much to your kids and so much to your job and so much to everybody else that it's like, you know what? I need to take a hot bath and I'm going to put some bath body and beyond lotion on and I'm going to put on something sensual and sexy and I'm going to call such and such over. All right. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And you already know that. And some of you may be working on maybe acquiring more attraction skills. All right. So uh, some of you could definitely be single and you're just focusing on your career right now. And you're focusing on loving yourself. All right. So for you singles... Oh, this came out. It said the Six of Cups. Somebody from the past could be returning into your life. Um, yeah, and that's who you want to be with. It looks like some of you still love somebody from your past. Let's see how they feel about you. Those of you who are still hung up on somebody from your past, this is how they feel about you. Those of you who are okay. Um, hmm, they still feel like your marriage material. They didn't want to let you go. The world is reverse. You know, when it's right side up, it's a, something ends. And this is the Hierophant, which although she's speaking, um, you know, she's a married woman. So the person that you want to come back uh, still is in love with you. you know, I just feel like you guys uh, may need some time apart. So that you could learn how to love yourself and like maybe they could get their finances together. Something like that. Okay. All right. So that is the present. Now let's look at the near future. If I kiss, if I held you tight. In the morning light. I wonder why that song is coming to my head. Somebody still loves you from the past. You are entering a period of positive change, deep and profound transformation that occur at the deepest level of your being. You emerge with a renewed passion for life full of romance and creativity. Wow. So those of you who are single, don't worry about being single because it looks like you are entering a period of positive change, deep and profound transformations too on a core level. You know, and that's why when people deal with you, they want to get married, right? So we had employment change, take the journey, love yourself. And then we looked at single people, but let's look at people in relationships for the present. Aries, Aries, okay, Aries in the present, okay, we have the King of Swords, some of you could be definitely getting a divorce and you're very clear about it because you, and you just weren't happy there anymore, you don't want to go through a divorce, some of you are getting divorced against your will, you could be breaking up with someone and you're very clear about it you know and this is your way of loving yourself and one of the things you're doing as you get out of this situation is uh, you just want to everything to be over with fast all right 
So I feel like there is somebody, I feel like there is somebody who uh, wants you really bad because the King of Wands here has a lot of passion or there's somebody who you want really bad. You want to work it out no matter what. So there's somebody, this is your energy. You could have deep passion for somebody that you want them uh, real bad. Like you want them bad and you don't care what type of issues you guys have to face, you know? And it's like the truth crushed you, but it just made you want this person more. And this could be vice versa, but I, I definitely feel like there is somebody who is in your life you could be married too. You could love a married man. All right. There could be somebody who's already married that you are loving. And the soulmate card for you guys is, wow. I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love, a blessing from a most benevolent universe. So somebody wants to marry you and um, you guys might have some differences. They may be black, you may be white, you know, you guys might be a biracial couple, um, something like that. All right. But I do feel like some of you are with someone who loves you enough to marry you and will look in the extension to see if you guys will, in fact, get married. All right. Let's look at uh, your near future. Aries near future. Oh, shit. Oh, Aries. All right, Aries, so we're going to take a look at your uh, near future now. So some of you are feeling really good in a relationship because it's a very strong intoxicating connection. And you're also feeling good about your financial blessings. Some of you are getting a raise or improving your assets, or there's some type of good news regarding money, whether it's your business, paying off your taxes or what. I do see that you're going through some, uh, some growth spurts. Some of you could be feeling discomfortable or uncomfortable with the growth that you're going through or, or through, uh, with the transition of a parent, a transition of friendships or life you need to remember to be more grateful you are deserving of everything and it's okay to be creative right I do feel like some of you have some financial fears some of you may not be looking at your finances and you need to right um, you and your person may have just kind of it could just be you and your person right now you could have moved to been closer to your person or whatever I just feel like you guys have been getting closer uh, you know, with each other and this person is falling in love with you. You could have Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or Pisces in your chart or your person could have that in theirs. And I feel like there is, for the other group of you, there is somebody who really wants you and, you know, they don't like all the truths that they hear regarding you, but I feel like somebody, you know, really wants you or you really want someone. Both of you might just want each other, but I think there's been a lot of people that's come and gone, and you may not have ever quite felt this way about somebody before or vice versa. All right, what is the near future for Aries? It says, I look for more reasons to appreciate. The more I appreciate, the better I feel. The better I feel, the more I am allowing who I am to flow through me. The more I allow who I am to flow through me, the better I feel. I really encourage you guys to get a... Um to get a, uh, a, a gratitude journal because that is like that was one of your challenges was being grateful like, like you kind of just want to go to the next thing because that's that Mars powerful energy but uh, you know it was kind of encouraging you to uh, be grateful all right start appreciating the good things that you have in your life all right, what is your angel card for the near future? 
Aries. What is your angel card for the near future? Abundance mindset. Okay. It says, if you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. And also that was what you didn't see coming too. Like that some of you are going to start doing it. You know, I think we all know that we should do it, but some of you Aries are actually going to start doing it. And you're like, what? Yeah. Okay. sister. Normally, me and you like this, but you done veered off to the left, yeah. All right, so this is the near future for Aries, for one group of you at least. Uh, you deserve love. Some of you are going to be raising your self-esteem. And you could be in therapy, like uh, I know this one Aries is in therapy, and she finally told her husband, who's kind of negative, she said in a very nice way, you know, I would, I would like to hear more positive things, or I'd like for you to balance it with uh, the things that I'm doing right. And therapy allowed her to have a voice. So some of you could be going to therapy. I feel like you're going to, in the near future, start really feeling deserving of love. You might be doing affirmations. That's the totality of what I have to offer on it. I don't know what would be making you to feel love, but uh, you could be doing anything, right? But I, I see you becoming more appreciative. I see in the near future, you're going to be adopting a more abundance mindset. I don't know what you're reading or who you're listening to or when this is supposed to happen. All right. I just saw the travel card too that came up. Let's see what we have for you. Aries in the near future. Aries, the near future. Aries, the near future. Aries, the near future. With love, okay? So it looks like there's going to be some type of reconciliation between you and someone with the Eight of Cups reverse, okay? Uh, so the Eight of Cups, the Eight is just like a big circle. I'm leaving. Well, get out there. No, well, you get out there. Well, no, you get out. Fine, I'm out. And you just come right back, child. Somebody coming right back. It's like, now what was all that for? I mean, really, you could have just stayed home. So uh, I feel like somebody is coming back and I think that you guys are going to have a more abundant mindset about the relationship. And they could be really fine or they could be really good to you. And you may have some self-esteem issues where it's like, yeah, I deserve somebody fine. I deserve somebody who's good. I deserve, I deserve this, right? So I do feel like somebody's coming home in the near future. Somebody's going to be returning to you or you're going to be returning to someone else uh, because it looks like they're going to really be very clear about the fact that they love you. It's like they're shooting an arrow straight to you saying, no, you are lovable. No, I do love you and we can make this work and I do appreciate you. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at our charms. Oh, look at all these new opportunities that are opening for you, Aries. I see a lot of opportunities happening. So new doors are going to be opening. I see you getting more stable. I definitely feel a Virgo is around, right? You guys need to travel. If you have a Virgo that you are in love with, you guys need to travel and do things with each other. Looks like this new moon is going to center you in some type of new opportunity here. I do see some legal. Uh, concerns um, that is taken forever okay but I see new opportunities op operating in those legal uh, situations as well okay all right so if this resonated there is an extended reading that I will do for you and in this extended reading we are going to take a look at your relationship more extensively I know that that was pretty different uh, a reading that I did, but I'm going to be using oracles now. It looked like your relationship, for the most part, was just fine for those of you that resonated. You just need to have some more fun. 
Um, some of you are going to be getting back together with someone and the uh, somebody just needed the distance in order to get their finances together so that they could provide for you. Some of you were having religious differences or, you know, major differences, but the love that you guys have looks like it's going to try and overcome those differences, all right? All right, so where is this relationship going? Will we get married? Will we get engaged? Where is this relationship going for singles? Where is it going for couples? Is there someone else? If so, where is it going with them? Okay, um, does Aries have someone else? Where is it going with them? Is there a future with us? How does he feel? Of, how does the? How do they feel about me? How does Aries feel about me? And what is the outcome? All right, Aries, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading, and thank you for your um, your time, and effort, and energy for being here. Subscribe if you are new. If you want to see the extended version of this reading, you can con uh, you can hit the link in the description box and at the top of the comments section it'll say click below for the to, uh, the Aries extended reading one link will take you to Vimeo the other will take you to my website where for a nominal fee you can see the extended video okay thank you for watching Aries and God bless